it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, we did a little bit of shopping. I actually went to Sephora for one thing and that thing is the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. Um, I'm so excited to try this. It's gone viral on TikTok. We're going to go over just some of the claims and everything of the foundation and then we'll get into applying it. Okay, so the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation, it comes in 30 shades. Um, it is supposed to be a natural finish. It's liquid, obviously. Should be hydrating, long wearing, and medium coverage. Um, so then the explanation says, a breathable, luminous foundation that effortlessly builds and blends to illuminate the complexion with customizable, long wearing coverage. Um, this also has, I think what kind of made it go like viral is that the packaging whoa that's different it literally has shimmer in it i don't know i find that to be like so interesting like it's on my bottle I, it's really clinging to the bottle i don't know if you can see it but like there's like big specks i don't know what that means we're gonna see when we try it out um but yeah so it's supposed to be like a luminous finish medium coverage buildable coverage so Let's just get right in. I've already prepped my skin. I'll leave what I prepped my skin with down below because I really want to focus like on this foundation. It is a pump. It kind of reminds me when I was looking at this, like the pump, it reminds me of like the Becca, like that ultimate coverage foundation. I could be tripping, but that's like the first thing that I thought of when I saw this. So anyways, I have the shade 15N. I tried the tester on in Sephora. I matched it to my neck. Now we all know how Sephora lighting goes, so I don't know if it's gonna be the best, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna be using this It Cosmetics. It's the blurring foundation brush. It's a clean brush, never been used. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and start applying. First thoughts, it does feel extremely hydrating on the skin, which I've been loving more. I used to be a very like matte, full coverage kind of girl, and now I'm really into like a little bit more hydrating. I think just as I'm getting older, that's just what my skin wants. Um, but I like this. A couple of pumps did the lower half of my face. I'm gonna build up this side a bit more. And then bring the rest on the forehead but i like it so far i like the match i'm very happy with the match um i wish there were a little bit more shades just because i know that brands like especially since fenty they're gonna come out with like at least 40 to 60 shades um but maybe he'll expand it i just don't know why they wouldn't initially launch with that but i don't know I like this so far. Um, it's also blending really, really nicely with the brush. Um, I don't know, as you can see, my skin looks really, really luminous. And I'm filming in front of like direct sunlight, so that's my skin in the sun. I like this a lot. Um, first impressions, I really like this. This could literally be worn alone. Um, I feel like it just does a good job of evening the skin tone and making the skin tone look evenly hydrated and just even overall. Um, I definitely do think it is buildable. I'm going to go ahead and finish off my makeup like I typically do. Um, if you guys want, like I'll leave that down below with what I used. I'm kind of debating, I don't know if I want to use like a matte concealer. I don't know, but we're going to see. Use my everyday products that... I kind of know how they work and then we're gonna come back and see the final results so this is the makeup all finished I have set everything um, use my concealer my typical products like I said I'll leave those like down below if you guys want to see um, but overall I am really enjoying this foundation um, I think it looks really really good I think my face looks snatched and I don't know I did watch some TikTok reviews I personally feel like this does not feel heavy on my skin at all I almost feel like I have nothing and maybe that's because I didn't need to build it up so much if you use you know don't 
use too much of the product and you'll be fine. Like I said, I took a few pumps on the brush. I used it on this side and then I went over to the other side and I was able to get like a nice sheer coverage and then I built it up with a little bit more and it was perfect. I love this. Um, I feel like I still have some like luminosity peeking through my skin after setting everything. Sorry guys, I don't know what's going on with my lip gloss today, sorry. Um, so I am honestly really, really happy with this. I 10 out of 10 totally recommend. It is a little bit more expensive. I don't think I've ever tried anything that's really comparable to that, to like this product. And that's why I like it, and that's why I'm giving it like a yay, not a nay. I really like it. I do think it's worth the price. Um, I really like what it does to my skin. The packaging is pretty too. It's nice and sleek. It'll look cute on your vanity, and you don't need too much of it. Um, even though it's medium and buildable coverage, like you don't need too much of it. So I see this lasting me a really long time. Um, needless to say, like I probably would pull this out more so on like those nights where like I'm probably gonna go out with like my mans or like my friends, you know? This isn't gonna be like my everyday where like I wear it to work and I know I'm gonna be wearing a mask, you know, because we don't have time to waste our monies like that. But this is a really, really good foundation. Could be good for everyday use, but for me, because I am I wear a mask daily at my job, I wouldn't wanna do that. Uh, but this is really good. I really like the way it looks. Um, I even think, and this kind of goes like with the concealer too, but under the eyes, I really like how it looks. Um, I like how my products kind of sat on top of it too. I enjoy this a lot. I could see myself repurchasing this again, but like hopefully that's in like six months or during some type of Sephora sale because she's a really expensive. But um, I like it. I think it's worth it. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm not going to be doing a wear test in this video today. Um, if you guys would like me to try the foundation with a wear test in a separate video, I'll do that. Oh, my skin feels really, really lightweight right now. And I feel like I look pretty and glowy. I did add highlight too, but it's a mixture of the foundation and highlight. I should have honestly tried this with like the e.l.f. halo glow underneath. I feel like, hmm. We got some combinations to try out soon, but let me know what you guys think down below Let me know if you guys got it if you loved it and why if you didn't why um, And let me know what you guys think of this video. Let me know if there's any more products you would like to see me review um, I'm gonna try to be more consistent this year, you know, she's graduated school. So I should have a little bit more time to film some beauty content. So let me know down below your thoughts and what you guys want to see me review or try out. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Sitting in a hold up, hold up If I lost the motion, show up I keep you down a roll up Leave me on the west side, burn me